And what is a rhythm game? I'm pretty sure you have an answer to that question considering you ended up clicking on this video. But to take it straight from Google, rhythm games or rhythm action games is a genre of music themed action video games that challenges a player's sense of rhythm. Now I want to put emphasis on challenges a player's sense of rhythm. This challenges a player's sense of rhythm, but it's only really a challenge for absolute beginners if even that. It's one constant boring rhythm that anyone who's opened the game more than two times can relatively handle. This is a bit more interesting, but still, it doesn't really remain a challenge long term. While it is a tiny bit more complex, it's still one repetitive, relatively simple rhythm that a lot of people can still handle with no issues. Alright, well the recurring problems seem to be that the rhythms are constant slash repetitive and simple. How do we make them not have those problems? Well, the first thing we can look at is the beat snap divisor over in the Osu editor. But what does it do? Let's take a look at one beat. This is how it looks like when the beat snap divisor is set to 1-1. One, one. Notes can only snap to those two white snaps on the timeline. It's empty, it's boring, and it's colorless. If we raise the beat snap divisor to 1-2, however, one more snap is added in the middle. If we raise it to 1-3, another snap is added in the middle. So on and so forth until we reach 116. Also 110 and 111 are skipped, so yeah. The beat snap divisor is the door to creating charts with interesting rhythms. It's basically the thing that can make rhythms go from this to this. I'm sure you've noticed how I didn't say key. The key to actually doing anything is a song that actually supports those interesting rhythms. Though you really only need to take one glance at the ranked section of Mania and you'll realize that most songs don't really do that. If only there was one genre out there that consistently provides interesting and non-constant rhythms. Oh yeah. It's called break. But what exactly is breakcore? In short, it's a genre that makes the listener wonder whether the drummer was under an influence or not. It's a genre that basically revolved around this one sample called the Ammon Break. You've heard it, I've heard it, everyone has heard it even if it wasn't on purpose. It's very widely sampled in a lot of popular music. Breakcore also samples it, but it also chops it up a whole lot. So it can end up sounding something like this. The rhythms in Breakcore are never really constant, though it really depends on the song. And the drum patterns themselves can make for some pretty interesting and challenging charts, not only rhythmically, but also physically in other cases. So now that we have the key, break chord to our door, beat snap divisor. Putting them all together, we can get something like this. This song's rhythms aren't really constant, and it's definitely more interesting when we take into consideration just how much the rhythm changes in such a short amount of time. But breakcore can make rhythm games interesting in other ways as well. Some breakcore isn't all that complex in the rhythms, but more so in the drum patterns themselves, if that even makes sense. This chart is representing a pretty simple drum pattern. Kick, snare, kick, snare. Snares also always fall on the white text. Kicks are being represented by single notes, while snares are being represented by jumps. Or or doubles, I don't know what people call these these days. Meanwhile, this has a more unique jump pattern. The snares aren't just restricted to the white ticks anymore. As a matter of fact, they're kind of everywhere. Kicks and snares are represented the same way they were represented in the other chart, with the addition of hands wherever there's mostly nothing going around them to fill up the chart, but either way, the chart becomes a lot more of a challenge rhythm-wise and pattern-wise. Although this song also introduces some hardcore kicks, I'd still count them as snares as most if not all of the hardcore kicks happen on other snares. Aside from breakcore making patterns and rhythms more interesting, there are also faster breakcore songs, which means breakcore songs can also support charts that challenge the player not only through patterning and all of the ordinary rhythmic choices, but also through speed and stamina. And sometimes, given the charter has enough patience to actually go through with charting such songs, breakcore can also provide rhythms that translate into charts, which challenge all of these aspects all at once. One thing that specifically this song has, which I've avoided mentioning up until now, is BPM changes. 
A song's BPM in of itself is a constant rhythm, which is boring. Only difference is, whenever that rhythm changes, the whole song changes with it. All of the instruments have to conform to its changes, so if a song has a ton of BPM changes, it's gonna become a lot more of a challenge to keep your accuracy high. That can definitely spice rhythms up a lot, and it's apparent just by looking at this chart alone. The reason I've avoided it though, is because not a lot of breakcore songs use BPM changes like this. Yes, there are plenty of songs that do, but most stick to one constant BPM, or maybe have one or two BPM changes throughout the entire thing. Anyway, with all of that being said, go listen to some breakcore, and I'll probably see you some other time.